whole life. It has gotten away from you, something you can't remember, you can't think it, say it, or spell it. And the really infuriating part, the part that makes you the maddest, is it's something that you know you know. It is your own name. Your own name has gotten confused. Someone has stolen your name for you, and it starts to piss you off. The more you think about it, the more frustrating it gets. You can't think it, say it, or spell it. The minute you know it, it starts to get confused and get away from you. It starts to get away from you, and it pisses you off. You can't remember the letters, you can't speak the name. When you try to, it gets more confused. Reach up with your hand and start to trace the letters of your name, and you have to scratch it out and start all over again because somebody out there stole your name. Someone out in that house stole your name. Reach up with that hand and give them a gesture to let them know how you feel about what they did. Oh my <laughs> everyone. But you can get it back. On the count of three, say, give me back my name. One, two, three. You got it, you got it. Let it go and sleep. Deep with me four. Five, four, three, two, one. Fifty. Three, two, three. Very relaxed. Well, at school time now, you're going back to school, and I'm afraid to say, you are not the good kids in the school. You are the worst kids there has ever been, and I think I know what I'm talking about. In just a moment, there'll be kids in class, and I'll be lecturing. You'll be, you'll be very alert, because when I'm looking at you, you're going to behave really well, but the minute I turn my back, you will make the most distracting faces you can to try and disrupt the lesson. If I ask you about it, you will be the biggest liar there has ever been. You'll blame everyone else but yourself, and you'll tell me the most outrageous lie you have. But as long as I'm oh, no. looking at you, you'll behave well. My back is turned. You are the most obnoxious kid in class, making the most grotesque.